you can find the videos posted to social media from all it's over L.A. County. It's my property, Outbursts from the homeless. Many appearing to suffer from severe mental health issues. This man acting out in the middle of a busy street. Another appearing to barely be in control of himself. And this man approaching a young girl and knocking over her scooter, leaving her terrified. Fox 11 has been reporting on the issue for years. They just took a brick to my car. Violent attacks at the hands of the mentally ill, often completely unprovoked. And Skid Row is ground zero. We're bringing you along, up close and personal, as we shine a light on just how bad the mental health issue has become on Skid Row streets and elsewhere all over LA County. And now, county leaders are sitting down with Fox 11 to say something has to change. It is frightening to see what we're doing by doing nothing. Almost anywhere you go within Los Angeles County, the estimated 58,000 homeless are not hard to find. But within our neighbors on the streets lies one population nobody seems to know what to do with. Severely mentally ill transients, often seen having conversations with themselves, speaking to nobody, or having random outbursts. Fox 11 filmed these videos all over LA County, but nowhere is the problem worse than the infamous Skid Row. These images paint a sad picture of the ongoing situation on our streets, a mental health crisis some believe has been left unchecked, a crisis this LA County team is tasked to help fix. We're working with really limited resources, and we're doing the best we can. This is the Department of Mental Health's Homeless Outreach and Mobile Engagement Team. We can't solve 58,000 people homeless, but we are working to work with those individuals that have been sitting on these bus benches forever and a day. They allowed Fox 11 to tag along as they build relationships and help Skid Row's most vulnerable. What's your doctor's name again? I don't know. Those they engage with aren't always receptive to their offers for help. But the team says one woman in particular shows just how broken this system is. Do not own my motorcycle, team. Her name is Monica Draper, a violent transient who has lived on the streets for at least two years, always refusing treatment every time the team checks on her. She's severely mentally ill. According to documents obtained by Fox 11, Draper was arrested in 2016 for felony vandalism and was later placed on probation. When she violated that probation in 2018, she was ordered to be examined by a psychologist. She was released back to the streets and just weeks after we filmed this video of her, she was rearrested for violating her probation and brought back to jail. Documents show as of September, she's being held with no bail and was ordered to be evaluated by a psychiatrist yet again. The team says it appears she's never received mental health treatment. The system has kept her in a revolving door of jail and the streets for years. The system wasn't built for these type of individuals. It's really easy to be like, why aren't you doing anything? With what? With what resources? The county team says lengthy wait lists mean there just aren't enough hospital beds available for the severely mentally ill. And even if they believe they have to involuntarily commit someone to a hospital, it's an arduous process. People have their civil liberties and they have to meet really strict legal criteria. Criteria that LA County Supervisor Catherine Barger believes has to be changed. The system as it stands right now is broken. She sat down with us for a frank conversation. Recently, we've seen a lot of lip service from public officials talking about what they're doing to fix this problem. Why does it seem like it's getting worse rather than better? I understand the lip service, and I can tell you that the, the bag's under my eyes because I do lose sleep, sleep over this, and I have been very aggressive in working on it. For anyone that thinks that you just pull them off the street and hospitalize them, they have rights. Many of those rights come from California's LPS Act, which Barger believes needs to be changed. Since 1967, when it was signed into law, the LPS Act has allowed mental health patients in California to refuse treatment on the basis of protecting their civil rights and due process. The very thought that, that LPS was put into place to protect people's rights 
In fact, I would argue that it's abusing people's rights now. There is one thing that might help. Barger tells me California is working with the federal government to enter into a waiver which will allow hospitals to bill Medicaid for mental health beds. Why is that significant? If you have 16 or less beds, you can bill Medicaid, but 16 or more, you are not allowed to get any reimbursement. So no hospitals want to build their capacity because there's no revenue stream. Say you, you house the people who are here now, but what's stopping more people from streaming in because they like the weather or they, you know, the laws are different out here. That is a problem and I hope that my colleagues across the state hear that because I don't think any of us want this to be a destination for those that want to check out. And when we gave Barger the paperwork associated with Monica Draper's situation, she agreed. The system is failing her and many others. We need to look at cases like this and see how we can plug that hole because service resistant, more aggressive, and a danger to the, to the public. As for the county outreach team, they'll continue doing work that does change lives for the better. We're going to finish some paperwork and I'm going to come back and have you sign some stuff because this is happening. You're going to get your place. They were able to find housing for this homeless man suffering from mental illness, a small victory in the ongoing crisis in LA streets. We better figure this out pretty darn quick. And there is some good news. More help might soon be on the way. Supervisor Barger tells me LA County is currently in the process of building several recuperative care centers. Basically, these are urgent care facilities specifically for mental health patients. That's where first responders can bring these mental patients in and beds will in fact be available. Such a problem. Wow. Uh, we know that the Supreme Court has been looking into the idea of potentially um, whether police can arrest homeless people for right. living on the streets. You bring up this LPS Act. Uh -huh. what, what's the, where is that at right now? Could there be any changes on that? There could be because right now the state of California is auditing the LPS Act. They want to see what changes could potentially be made because this is such a big issue here, not only in Los Angeles, but obviously up in San Francisco. Now, typically the way it stands right now is under LPS. Someone can be put on what's known as a 5150 hold. That's where they're involuntary voluntarily taken by authorities to a psychological center if they're deemed uh, gravely disabled. The problem is under LPS, all 58 counties here in California have different interpretations of what gravely disabled means. Typically, mm -hmm. most believe it means you can't provide food, clothing, or shelter for yourself, but that's what people are going to have to figure out at the state level. So. Right. And, and Bill, we know people are living on the streets like that. They're also dying on the streets. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much for your report.